Okay, I think we're on. Yep. So depression and, you know, the thing with depression and or New Year's blues, if you ever like have these <coughs> experiences of, um, you know, depression, like Hawkins mentioned it, you know, it's like, uh, it's like uh, underpinning it is anger, usually anger that you can't get the world to be what you want it to be, kind of repressed anger, depression. So it's like, it'll be like this, if I thought, um, let's say as a little kid I thought, um, what could I think that would make me happy? All right, let, let's, let's say that I thought, um, uh, what would make it? if I met the right woman, then I'll be happy. And then one day, um, I don't know, or maybe let's say if I could have, I mean, this is going to be a stupid video, isn't it? Let's say if I could have kids, if I could have kids, I believe that if I could get kids, I'd be happy. And then I find out from the doctor that I can't have kids. You know, it's impossible. You know, there's certain things, you know, where a man can't have kids. <laughs> I won't say it anymore. <laughs> but uh, then it would be like, it would be like, I'd, be, I'd go into a depression. I'd go into depression because it's like, I, it would mean to me symbolically that I can never, ever be happy. You know, for some people it might be like, you know, they want to be like, they, want, they might want to be like director of a bank. And... Uh, and then I don't know. They they get they get like a criminal record, so they can they can't they, you know. So it's like well they be, they believed their whole happiness was if they could be director of a bank. So you never you know, if you got a criminal record you're not going to be director of a bank. So um, or whatever it is or you know. So as soon as you realise your unconscious realises that you can't get the thing that you think will give you happy and it's impossible, then you lose all hope. You lose all hope that that external thing that you thought would make you happy, you can't get it. So you become depressed. Um, so, or you might get the New Year's blues. Or if something happens in your life, you know, if you were in a relationship and you thought that they were the source of your life, <clears throat> like, you know, this person is the love of my life, you know, and you're so happy every day and then they get run over by a bus, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> You'd get depressed. You'd get depressed, you see. So that's what depression is. It's like this a state of like I've lost I've lost the the meaning of life and I can't get it back. So <clears throat> uh the way out of depression is then uh this is the thing I'll always say, it's like when the ego the ego the ego with anything is made up of two things, it's belief systems and it's repressed energy. Uh in so so you could say it's like the attachment. Like, uh, let's say, um, I'm making this up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, let's make up something stupid. I, I am actually a food addict, a recovered food addict. I'm not, I don't have a donut addiction now. But it'd be like, if, um, if suddenly there was a sugar shortage in the UK, or like all the, all the sugar crops in the whole world were like destroyed, <laughs> and, and, and it was suddenly on the news, like sugar is no longer available on this planet. Oh, God. Then, then I would go. I didn't have a lack of sleep, but anyway. Then it would be like, I would become depressed. I, I might not know why I'd be depressed, but it'd be like, and it might be, I might become suicidal, you see. I might become suicidal. It'd be like, there's no point to living, and all my neurotransmitters, my serotonin levels would all start, start to plummet. And I'd start to say there's no meaning to life and I want to like, jump off a bridge. So that's like depression. So you, when you're depressed and you don't know why, you're depressed because the source of the thing that you think you need to have, what is it? Ask the question, you know, I'm depressed. I can't, you know, the, the thing that would give me happiness is no longer available to me. So you become depressed. So that's one thing. Also realize it's an illusion. <clears throat> You can be happy even if there's no more sugar in the world. You can be happy even if you lose a partner. Uh, you can be happy uh, no matter because the source of the source of happiness is from within. It's not. It's you because you projected special qualities onto something external. Uh, ultimately, even with uh, with the body, you know, like if you become, if you, you know, I think I was, you know, as a young man when I lost my hair, you know, I was really stressed out. I thought it was the end of the end of the world, you know. It's like, 
<laughs> That's true. I, I bought so many shampoos and I was spending going through going through so many ads. If anyone said this shampoo, this is a hundred pounds, buy this shampoo. <laughs> Just go out and shampoo. I thought, if you've got a bald head, this is true. If you've got a bald head, there's no point to life. You, know, you can't get it fixed. So, so these things are very serious. I don't know what it, what, what it is. So I later realised, later when you let, let it go, you realise that it's not a big deal. You see? But how do you let it go? So, okay, sorry, depression. So depression is what I do is I would sit, it's an energy, you're fe feeling out the attachment. So you don't label it, like let's say I was depressed because I, I realised that these shampoos aren't going to work. So like let's, let's, think, <laughs> let's get into acceptance. So I just sit down, or it could be like, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to grow a leg, my leg got run over, or whatever it is, <laughs> or, <laughs> or this girl that I had a crush on, you know, is, is, not, not, is not interested, it's quite clear she's not interested, she's not going to go with me. So, so then what I do is I sit down, and the thought is meaningless, it's just a projection, so let go of the thought. All I've got to do is feel out the repressed energy, or as Buddha would say, I'm feeling out the attachment. I'm feeling out, I put so much energy and investment, you know, I need, I need to get hair on my head, I need the girl, I need the partner. I put all of this becomes like a repressed energy. It's an attachment energy. So all I have to do is feel out that energy, let that energy go and not, not re-identify, not re-project that I need that thing. Forget the thoughts, just feel out all the energy until that depression energy vanishes until you get to the sense of peace. And, uh, or you can do the Course of Miracles, I cancel my belief, I need my hair to be happy. Uh, I'm an infinite being. God did not create unhappiness if you're bald, so it's not a real idea. Or whatever it is, or that girl, or that money situation, or the loss of that partner. And then you start, and then you get that sense of peace and love on the inside. And then you realize it's meaningless. You can, you're happy without the thing. So I go to lots of fellowships, I go to fellowship, 12 step fellowships to do with relationships. You know, if they lose their partner, they, they get, become suicidal. You know, they, they want to jump off a bridge because they've lost, uh, they think that they, their partner becomes projected as the meaning of life. So if they lose a partner, they become suicidal. They think there's no point to life. So that's just a projection. So you just feel out that attachment and then you reconnect to the source within. So that's how I deal with depression, because nothing outside of you, you have to let go of the idea and fill out the repressed energy uh, with that. So that's how you get rid of um, New Year's Blues. New Year's Blues, I mean, sometimes people around, um, around uh, I, think, I think I've transcended this, I mean, I might be wrong, but I don't get like depression when it becomes winter, you know, and, and that, the thing of like, oh, everyone goes, well, there's not enough sun, I'm, go I'm going to be sad now. Uh, <coughs> because of a seasonal affective disorder, whatever it is. Um, and that's just a belief system. When we do the Course in Miracles, you just cancel your belief that if there's no sun, I have to be depressed, because that's just an externalized projection. Then you can save yourself, if you're lucky, you can save yourself by one of those light boxes. So, so, um, uh, so those are what we call magical beliefs uh, in, that, in, that, in, in that frame. Uh, uh, there's, okay. Um, 